Right then, a quick pond update. It looks like I've got white spots. I've seen a lot of white spots on me, the fish, and some of them are starting to get clamped up on the bottom, clamping on the bottom. You can't see, but I have got white spots in some of them, as I say, are sitting on the bottom, clamped up. I've done various scrapes. I can't find now other parasites on my own, I think but I have noticed white spot. So what I've done today, I've bought some Alprex, the Columbia Alprex, or if that's how you pronounce it. And I've got it in a, a bottle like here. 150 mil for the size of my pond so I'm going to put this in overnight to see if it's a cure these because there's something ain't right in the pond definitely not something ain't right I've got little bits of white spots on them So I'm a bit dubious to put this in the pond. But speaking to a couple of friends saying if you've got white spotted bone heads, you can't tell in this light, but I can see them. The one you can he's got Tony's dorsal thing. He started to go a bit white on his nose. And I've got a little one in here, this, this one here. He's the one who keeps lying on the bottom with clamps, fins. But I've noticed the back of his tail is going a bit red. So I'm going to try this and see what happens. So, I'll try and mix this now. There. Look, there's my cat Milo and the wife on the phone, look, waving at me. So, I'm going to get this in here. Oh, but look at the state of that. Soup. I've got to switch, switch my UV off. Switch my UV off for a couple of days. So the pH is 7.6, so I'm all right to put it in. The temperature's at 16, 16 and a half degrees at the minute. Where's my whisker? My wife's whisker. But the, Pinched it out the cupboard and doing the James the Koi Whisperer trick. Mix it up. Oh, even that's gone a different colour now. Put that back in there. So I could bounce down the deck in. Let it stay in that instead. I'll turn the pumps down a little bit to 45 at the minute so it's a settled down and let's see if I can get this in one hand oh 
this is awkward with one hand. You're watching it at the way you were. as I used to be. Bye bye fish for a bit. I'll probably do the wrong thing there but I've got to get some to go. Because my fish ain't happy one bit. And the plant I've got to give this another douse tomorrow. I'm gonna to put these junk guard back on. Well, to stop the air and getting in. Sorry, I didn't. This time last year I had a had uh Aaron come in my garden. Look, there's more cat my now, look. Sitting in there, look. More loud the cat. Can you see him? Look. He's getting old, like me. My love the cat. Look, there he is. Wife's on the phone again. Always on the phone chatting. Oh, look at that a finger. Swearing on YouTube. Not very good. Don't telling me to go away now. She's better looking than the coy though, ain't her? <laughs> Just a quick update on the white spot. It seems like this stuff is starting to work. Of course, I can see less white spot on the fish. Pond's a little bit green, but I'm going to give it another second dose in a minute. I've got it all ready, give it a second dose. I seem to be a little bit better today. The dose seems uh, skittish or whatever. I've got plenty of air going in the pond. I've still got my UV off. The temperature in the minute, at the minute is um, 17 degrees in here. Happy days. I noticed one thing, they ain't eating so much. I've been putting a bit of food in, but they've been not coming up very, very well. So I don't know it's the stuff what I'm putting in, what's causing it. Not to feed. In again, I'm trying to do this one handed. It's a nightmare, but I hope maybe it goes again. This is the second treatment to plant the bird. Give it two days, two doses in two days. Uh, 
how it's upside down. Just give it a quick mix. Well, this is not good for cooking now, is it? <laughs> On water. As I say, this is the second dose. So that on there. I'm not going to try and do it this one handed again like I did last night. It was a bloody nightmare. So, here we go with the second dose. This is the second dose. So I'm going to get a little bit turning green. A little pea soup. This is the egg is feeding very well today. It's probably good to me. This soup. Bit off, switch the feeder off at the minute as well. So the fish are going to disappear until tomorrow again. I'm surprised how quick it started to clean it up. But apparently I've got to leave the UV off for seven days. And I was wondering, can you still, because I do my filters twice a week, obviously I won't be able to do them on Wednesday. But can I still clean my filters on Sunday as normal with this in? Or do I have a go? leave the filter clean for seven days if anybody can comment and leave me a comment if i can still clean the filters on wednesday and sunday let me know because i ain't too sure as i say i'm new at this game the pond's only been running up running just over 12 months the fourth of the fourth april last year i finished it so as i say this is my first full season so if you can comment, see if I can still clean my filters. Why this stuff's in I normally do Wednesdays and Sunday mornings. And just take you back into the filters. So it's a bit busy one, I think the media is what we need to draw. Looks like it's in the shade. But I don't know if that goes into the boil. Put the boy out of the spot, and then I got the boys out of the spot. This is really wrong. Really mature. It's a good one. I'll be taking a bit of water to make sure that it's probably the stuff of oh, it. Maybe it's. So, you are very still off. Cyber temperatures, 17 degrees. And all of a sudden, the um, pH has gone up to 7.9, where yesterday it was 7.7. So, I'm going to leave it there and I'll keep it posted. As I say, I'll just put the second dose in, see what happens. So, Dark. Just a quick look at the fish. Not that I've got to see them then. Lovely and green. And on that bomb shell, I shall catch it on the next video. Catch you later.